he said, my last year in college, uh, I had a part-time job working in the commissary in the cafeteria, and my, I was a cleanup guy. At the end of every day, I went in and we cleaned up the place, and I had to steam clean the big, long conveyor belt that brought all the trays and dirty things back into the kitchen and washed them. And I, unfortunately, the steam cleaning process knocked all the lubrication out of the bearings that ran this conveyor, and I was spending half my time underneath this thing replacing bearings. So before I left, I got a bunch of hardwood bearings that looked exactly like these here, and I installed them everywhere where these bearings were, and then I went away. And 25 years later, after I had done the fly around the world on one tank of gas plane, <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, the, the president of the college calls me up and said, we want to give you an honorary degree. Hmm. And uh, you know, I'll pick you up at the airport. So he said, I showed up there, and here's the president. He said, well, we want to show you the new library, the new science plan. Bert said, to hell with that, take me to the old commissary. I was look at something. <laughs> so they went in, and you know, he goes in there, and he lifts up the rubber thing. And there, 25 years later, are all the hardwood bearings that he had put in. And this belt had been turning over eight hours a day, six days a week, since he had left 25 years before. So that kind of, well, when the thing with Ben's guy heard that, he kind of got a little sniffy. And, <laughs> the point is that, that we all have this prejudice that we're all raised with, which is that the high carbon seal bearing blah 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 is the way to go and it's progress. Where in fact in some situations it actually isn't. You've in fact left behind a simpler, certainly a much more appropriate system which can be built and repaired anywhere in the world and you've explained, exchanged it for something which uh, causes a lot of trouble and is a pain in the ass to, to, to repair. So that's really, it's a great story about appropriate technology because nothing much gets more appropriate than that.